So, where are you going? Oh, I have to go to work. Um, you're going on a work trip? You work at home. Yeah, hey, you need Oh, Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Right, you need all of this to go to work. Yeah. What you work at? Thanks so much. Absolutely. But you work at home. Well, I mean, I need it, right? <laughs> Take it with me. <laughs> oh, I cannot forget my lucky journal. Oh, yes. I absolutely cannot forget. Thank you so much. Where are you going? What are y'all, writing the book? I'm going to the bathroom. Jeez. Can you, can you move? Can you can go to the Shannon with Losing Forward. Thank you for joining me on my journey here uh, to lose another 50 pounds. But it's not just about weight loss, it's also about mental health, environmental health, it's about financial health, it's about trying to fix all those, you know, maybe not so good things in my life and trying to go back onto a better, newer, fresher me. Can I say that? Can I say freshness? I don't know. We're gonna try it. So, hello, all you awesome streamers out there. I'm still working on intros. Please feel free to comment, like, subscribe. And if you don't like the content, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for joining me. So today is Weigh In Wednesday. Weigh In Wednesday! Yay, it's Weigh In Wednesday. What a great day for us today. We're gonna actually get right into this one because I have a very big topic that weighs very heavily on my heart that I really would like to talk about. And if you can tell from the skit, today's topic is about baggage. So. We're gonna get right to it. So hold on one second, let's go get that weigh-in going. Hey, lost 0.7 pounds today. Isn't that exciting? So that's so very cool. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, when I first looked at this Wednesday morning, I always do my weigh-ins and then I kind of do my videos later um, just to Kind of think through a topic i want to discuss well when i first looked at that video i was actually severely depressed because i had i'm kind of dyslexic so i mixed the numbers around and i honestly thought that i had gained weight and a couple pounds and i had took what i thought i saw into um the day and i was not eating so good i didn't exercise i almost felt like giving up um but I think that it was just a kind of a down moment for me too, and I just needed to rest. But doing this video, I went back to kind of calculate where was I last week and where was I for this one. So I'm really surprised, that, but I'm excited at the same time. So not sure what to think of it. Anyway, the point is 0.7 pounds is great. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna love it. This week's music was brought to you by Slim and the Gems. Rockabilly, psychabilly music, a little bit of honky tonk twisted in there. They're a really great band, I follow them. Um, they are straight out of Georgia, which is even better because that's where I'm from. So uh, please go check them out on slimandthegems.com. They are sponsoring this week's episode and um, we're gonna go ahead and pay some bills with this commercial we just made for them. Check it out. Hey. Hey. Thanks for the ride, lady. Hey, no problem, anytime. Mm -hmm. mm. uh... What? What is it on my face? 
What is, do I smell? What is that smell? Oh God, I showered, I swear. Oh, it, oh. oh. Tyler's chocolate milk. Now it's like a chocolate cheese. Oh, now it's gonna smell like this forever. Uh, I mean, oh, only I, I, if there was something I could do. Ew, what, uh, what do we do? I don't know. I think we're gonna have to live with this. Can I, we live with this? I don't, I don't think, I don't think we can live with this. No way! I'll change! Hi! Oh my god, I missed you! I missed you too! Mm. Oh no! Uh oh! Is everything okay? What's that smell? It smells like rockabilly! <gasps> it is the smell of rockabilly! The new Slim in the Gym's air freshener smells like the fresh scent of rockabilly music. And how. And if you would like to get more Slim in the Gym's merch, you can visit their website at slimandthegyms.com. It's .org. No, it's not. <sighs> it's .com. It's .com. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, you can get all kinds of really cool shirts. The air fresheners are only available at their live shows. I promise if you go, you can get one too. So if you want to have your car smell like rockabilly, you're going to have to see them perform live. You won't be disappointed. All right, so check out Slim in the Gyms. Get the cool merch at slimandthegyms.com. Thank you for sponsoring this week, Slim. We'd love to have you aboard if you're interested in sponsoring us. Um, this just helps us, you know, get more product reviews in, uh, deliver more quality videos. Um, just comment down below, or if you want to see anything special, comment down below. I'm gonna talk about some changes I'm gonna make uh, for this week. Um, I'd like to pull in some more routine exercises. I want to play on the Oculus a little bit more at night burn some calories for 30 minutes on the oculus about an hour of walking guaranteed at least six times a day and then i want to try to get my 10,000 steps in and then i'd also like to do the jump rope challenge and i know i've talked about it a couple times here's the user that's on tiktok that is doing this um uh it's a 1,000 jumps per day for seven days and she has an actual jump rope that counts it so i think i'm gonna have to find one of those before i get that started but when I do, I will have it on TikTok Plus here for you to share. But this is very inspiring to me to see this young lady um, just really thinking that she couldn't do it. In her TikToks, she goes from one point in her head of saying, I just can't do this. I, I just don't think it's physically possible. I'm exhausted, I'm tired. But the great thing is, is when I watched her, and the funny thing is, I don't think she knows that I'm like, really rooting for her because it's like, God, girl, you got this. I really hope you can pull it out, you know? What was so inspiring about this girl is that she overcame her way of thinking. I don't know if I can do it. I have, um, unfortunately, I have PMR, which causes problems with severe pain in my arm. So I'm gonna try to find ways for me to jump rope so that I'm not using this muscle in my arm. When I hit it, it hurts so bad, I just wanna cry. So. But maybe I can get through the pain. I think it's a, I don't know. I just, I really want to do it. I want to overcome this. And I, I think this would be a cool thing. We'll see if we can get it in. But I definitely will show you if I do. Okay, so that's kind of good. If I can somehow get 10,000 steps in a day, add a thousand jumps a day and 30 minutes on the Oculus, that's some good, that's some good exercise. And I think my deficit numbers will start to come up in the calorie counting, which means maybe I'll start to see a little bit more on the scale. I am really animated today. Maybe it's the coffee. Today's topic is about baggage. I'd like to say that it is emotional baggage, but I think baggage comes in many different forms. It can be physical uh, baggage, like the pain I feel on my arm. It can be uh, the type of baggage that is emotional, yes. Um, depression, anxiety, um, eventful um, baggage. When something doesn't go right in your life, like your car breaks down, your computer breaks down, or something like that. These are all things that happen to us as events that we do take on in our lives. And the more we don't address it, 
the more it weighs us down, right? So um, I would like to share something very special with you. Um, I, I always love to talk about my mom. She was a very smart and wonderful lady. And I even named my very smart and wonderful daughter after her. Um, my mother gave me a lightning bolt necklace and she told me to never lose your power. Keep this with you at all times and never lose your power. Pretty much every company that I've started, except for one, has this lightning bolt in it, okay? I wear um, the lightning bolt here and I wear, it's more of a symbol to remind me to never lose your power. So what is that power that you can lose? I'm sure you kind of can guess exactly what that is, but when we give when we give time or thoughts to that baggage it makes it much much heavier or that's a way to uh collect the baggage easier i hope i'm making sense and you're still with me here i'd like to also say i am not a doctor i am not a therapist i did stay at a holiday inn but that does not make me a doctor um so i really really stress on the fact that if you can see a therapist or a doctor um, to address mental health issues, or even if you feel like you don't have mental health issues, talking to somebody is great. What I'm sharing with you is my own personal experiences. That's it. What has worked for me, what my mother has taught me throughout time, and how I'm getting along with it. Sometimes I forget it and I backtrack and then I have to think about it again and start over. I Let's take this piece of paper. Okay, when we're born or in life, you are start with a clean slate, clean piece of paper, right? And experiences in life, rather they are good or they are bad, they take a little bit of piece of us, right? Um, there was a death in the family, right? There was, um, your car broke down, I got a flat tire, I got laid off from my job. These little things that happen start to really weigh on us, right? So in the end, if you don't address these things, this is your clean sheet of paper. You're not, you're, you're, you, you are a crumbled up mess at the point. And that's why people say all the time, you're a hot mess, right? So let's just say you are a very hot mess and um, it's time to get closure on these things. So once you start to address the little things, take on tasks to try to fix it, how you think about it, you will start to unravel this mess, okay? Now, let's say that you didn't get the closure, but you're addressing things, you're trying to get things done. So you as a human being are starting to feel a little bit better, but what do we have after that? You have damage. So these life experiences stay with us a very, very long time. So how do we fix this? So my mother taught me that giving these things power even when they're not under your control is how we stay like this okay so in essence what we have to do is we have to take each thing and we have to address it so let's take the situation as an event this is the baggage all right so we're going to take this is you Okay, so we're gonna take this little piece and we're gonna try to see if we can uncrumple it and fix it up, okay? This is the event that happened that caused you to be that corner. Ooh, I hope I haven't lost you. What you wanna do is get a normal piece of paper and you wanna write down the event. Even though you feel like you don't need to write it down, it's pretty big enough for you to remember. It helps to get a piece of paper and write it down because it's very therapeutic to go from your mind to your hand to write out what has happened to you, what has damaged you, okay? Trust me, if you skip this process, you will not really get to where you want to get. Once you have the event, okay, then you wanna talk about what has made me feel, what did this event cause? What is the emotion behind? this event okay well this event caused me to be angry and sad we're not talking about the things that caused the anger and the sadness from this event we are talking angry and sad okay so now we have the event angry and sad in two columns all right 
in the first column, you want to put the sadness and then start bulleted points. I don't want long paragraphs, okay? Bulleted points. And write again with a pen or pencil and tell me what is it about that event that has made you sad? You know, these are ways to say address the sadness. And when you read these back, you can find out how to fix situations. Maybe there are things out of that sadness that can help me feel happy again. This process helps you identify the problem. Once you can be real with yourself about what the problem is, and that's how we find what's called trigger points. Another thing I wanna mention is listen to your body. This is so very important, and this is a process you probably should do before you go through the breakdown, okay? Another great mama comment was, um, okay, honey, he broke up with you, you got two days of nothing but crying and here's some ice cream and we're gonna sit down and we're gonna talk about this and and it was wonderful and that's probably how i connected emotional eating but we'll go with that at another video but for this one we would sit down and she would allow me the time to be sad okay if you're grieving and you're dealing with the grief by funeral arrangements or doing all the work for the situation you are not addressing your body's needs to rest. You have to grieve. You have been through so much. Hard to handle stuff like that. So if your body's saying, I need to sleep, you need to go to sleep. If I need to walk outside, get some exercise, then that's what you need to do. Listen to your body and answer that first. Now, there are a lot of things that happen in life that you just can't get closure on. Like grief is a big one. Help you get, they, these are just tips to help you get closure on the situation. Because if you don't get closure on anything you have, the longer it sits on you, that baggage is going to crush you one day. Because when you have one thing and you're carrying this around everywhere you go, okay, life is life and soon you're gonna have something else happen, right? And then if you don't address either one of these things, you will have a Thanos glove to deal with. <laughs> Sorry, it's not a funny situation. You see, this is a lot. And I love you and I don't want you to carry this anymore. Memento vivre, I think that's right. Did I say that right? Okay, I did say that right. So, and as you notice, there's my lightning bolt right there to remember not to lose your power. Remember to live and not lose your power. So I made these and um, I love them. They're great. It's a great water bottle, keeps the water cool. I made shirts on these and I've also made these. And if you are interested in getting one for yourself, let me know in the comments. I hope that you really enjoyed the content today. This is a big one and again, I'm not a doctor. I don't even play one on TV. Please talk to someone if you've tried all these things and it's still not helped. I can what? Fuck it. Talk to someone. Always talk to someone. Talk to a friend. Talk to your neighbor. Talk to your dog. Talk to someone. Grow a plant. Talk to your plant. I talk to my plants. Anyway. All right. Thank you for liking, following, subscribing. I know this one was long, but it was so very important. So from the bottom of my heart, I love you and talk to somebody, please. And don't lose your power. Have a wonderful day. I will see you next Wednesday weigh in if not sooner. Please like, follow, and subscribe guys. Bye-bye. Smell like old people balls. <laughs>